What's up, guys? We're here. Today, we're going to go over the Bones of Rathma set now that the PTR has had its very first patch. The build has changed. I know it's not as flashy as it was in the first couple of weeks of the season with the entire army just dominating, you know, GR 150s. But even after the patch update, the build is really, really strong and they fixed that bug. So I wanted to showcase it here. So we're going to go in. We're going to do a GR 100. We're going to do a GR 100. Let me just make sure everything's repaired. We're going to do a GR 100, guys. And real quick for my gear, I have very low gear. I have no augments. I have no ancient um, items for gear in my gem. Besides the Bane of the Trapped at level 37, everything else is at 25. So, oh, I have one ancient item is the Traveler's Pledge. So, very low level gear, nothing crazy. So, let's get in here and showcase this build. All right. So, you guys know everything is, is Command Skeletons based. Hit that. We want to use Army of the Dead. Now, this build, even after the change, is very, very tanky. Very, very tanky. Okay, make sure you're always getting your revives off. Okay, you always want your revives up. Always summon things, get the build going. Just let them do work. And we'll get that command uh, that Army of the Dead just absolutely destroying. So for being a pet build, it's just not going to be as fast as it used to be. Uh, you know, pre-patch pre because it was busted and it was completely broken. So the build operates, you know, pretty slow, pretty slow. You know, all we're doing is just kind of running around letting our pets do the damage. Now this build focuses heavily on mobs, which is important. So we kind of want to group them up and just use Army of the Dead to kind of destroy everything. We want our command skeletons just racking. Let command or Army of the Dead just do everything. Revive everything is possible. The build is very easy to use. It's actually like Very common to use nothing or not common, but I should say pretty easy to use. It's not it's not too difficult It's just a slow build. That's all It's just a slow build That's all there's nothing really too fancy about it, but it is very very flavorful. I talk about that a lot with um, Some of the builds that we do and we're running um we're running a uh, blood rush potency just to have a little bit added extra mobility. You know, we want to be able to get out of certain things just in case we get walled or if we're we're stuck in something. You know, we want to be able to get away. And we want a little bit added more, you know, mobility just to just to kind of get around the map just a little bit quicker. This is not, you know, the fastest build in the game, but it is a very fun build. And with it being the Herodrix, you know, a gift for season 27 for the necromancer this is going to be a very strong build leading into the new season so it's it's going to be strong and you see there we just get army of the dead just non-stop just destroying everything it's very very good deck or deck <laughs> very 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 good build which is great again it focuses on mobs so you see the more mobs that we get the more attacks that we can do and the quicker we can reset army of the dead army of the dead oh we didn't even get those so this build again guys it's not the fastest we're doing a gr100 again with very low gear nothing crazy but all you're going to be doing is sending your command skeletons you want to proc your bone armor for desolation to stun them and then you're just hitting army of the dead just to do a lot of damage which is just great Always try to focus on the monsters that your command skeletons are on. Make sure to keep them revives up. Keep those things rolling. Army of the Dead, just let it destroy. Now, the power that we're using with the Angelic Crucible or the Angel Crack is um, the one where we still get the rune on Army of the Dead, which is kind of a, you know, attacks, which is part of that bug that had happened. Now, it's kind of hard to tell to see it, but um, but it's still there kind of hitting people as we continue to fight. But Now, the build is actually very, very strong against the Rift Guard, and you can see that even without RB of the Dead, we just absolutely destroy it. Just We absolutely massacre this. So you see here that we finished a GR 100 in 3 minutes and 50 seconds. 
with little to no gear. The build is very, very strong, very, very tanky. Um, and now, it's not going to be as good as the Blood Nova build in Season 27, but it is the Herodric's Gift, which is going to be very, very strong early on um, into your season. So make sure if you're a Necromane, go with Bones of Rathma. It's not going to let you down. So to quickly go over the build, guys, it's very, very strong. You're going with the full six piece of Bones of Rathma. We're wearing five pieces here in combination with Captain Crimson for the added cooldown and damage reduction, which is really great. Our weapons, we decided to go with the Jessus arms set to deal increased damage with uh, command skeletons. And then if you hit Army of the Dead where they're attacking, you deal even more damage. Uh, our braces are the Bonds of Selena for increased damage for Army of the Dead. And then our rings and amulet are, of course, Crimson Sentis with Bane of the Trap to do increased damage. And then I opted for Traveler's Pledge, Pledge. So while I'm moving, I take reduced damage when I stand still to hit Siphon Blood. We do increased damage, which is great. I've seen this for, you know, I've seen these swapped out for um, uh, Squirt's Necklace and then the Convention of Elements, which is still very strong. It's very good. But I like the Traveler's Pledge just for the added defense to just be even more tanky. So then we're going to go into our cube, guys, our cube with the funerary pick. They fixed this in the patch. So this is really, really good if you're going to run Siphon Blood. Then we want Fate's Vow. Now, this is where the bug really hit hard. Army of the Dead deals more damage and then has the unconventional warfare rune, which is what you guys saw in the first couple weeks of the PTR. But now it's still there. It works. It just isn't as crazy as it used to be. And then, of course, Royal Ring, uh, the Royal Ring Grandeur to hit all of our two sets here. Skills and passives, guys. Siphon Blood, Power Shift for increased damage. Revive Personal Army to add more monsters to help us attack. Blood Rush Potency to kind of get around. Uh, Command, Skeletons, Dark Mending. I like this for the increased damage and that they can heal me. Now, you can change this to something else, but I like Dark Mend just to have the added tankiness. Of course, of course Bone Armor Desolation. Army of the Dead Death Valley because we get the free unconventional warfare from the fates vow so that with um death valley pulls everything to the center which is really really great uh our passives we're going with swift harvesting so we increase our attack speed with siphon blood then we have rigor mortis for poison abilities that slow now your abilities that are poison are your bone armor desolation your uh siphon blood power shift so every time that you're desolating with bone armor you're getting you're stunning them and slowing them which is great which also helps proc our uh crimson sentence which is awesome and then we got final service for a free life and then grisly tribute to get healed every time one of our minions uh hits which is great so when you have so many out it's just really really hard to die it just makes the build really really tanky so that is the build for the bones of rathma set after the you know update in the patch that came with the PTR guys. Now there still is, there still is going to be another one before the season releases, but I wanted to showcase this build. It's just really, really tanky and really flavorful and it's still fun. It takes, it does take a little bit getting used to, but the build is very, very easy to use. You know, we're, we're not even using a curse build in this and it's still really, really tanky and just destroys GR 100s. I think on the PTR, this got all the way up to uh, one 38 which is actually kind of strong for it but you see that the track ghouls is still higher at 150 so it's bones of rathma is still going to be good it's just not going to not going to be as good as uh, the blood nova build but this is very very strong i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like guys uh we've been pumping out so much content and the support has been amazing i know i keep saying that but it really has been and i really do appreciate it so if you are new here be sure to subscribe to help support the channel and as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.